Can you see it? Not yet? And boom. I bet you didn't know that I had written loser on my forehead. And that's because of Adobe's brand new content aware in After Effects. It's a brand new feature that just got added to After Effects and it can do some pretty cool stuff. Now you go ahead and rewind to the beginning of the video and you, you might notice now that I pointed it out, but it does a really good job of essentially Photoshop for video. And now I gotta attempt to wash this off for the rest of the video. What's going on guys, my name is Blake, and now that my forehead is nice and red, we're gonna just jump right into After Effects, and I'm gonna show you really quickly how this works. So as long as you have the newest update of After Effects, here you go. All right guys, welcome to the tutorial section of the video. I got a, a brand new After Effects project open here. I got one clip in here, it's a three second clip. Um, it's actually of a buffalo. It's a great clip of this meadow that's just ruined by this buffalo, and so we're gonna edit him out. No, I'm just kidding. It's a shot of a buffalo, uh, but I'm going to show you how to edit just the buffalo out of this with Adobe's new content aware. So I'm going to create a new composition. We're going to go up here to the pen tool. You can also press G on your keyboard uh, and you want to draw a box right around this, the object that you're trying to edit out right there. Looks pretty good. Uh, you're going to come down here, twirl this down and go to the masks. Uh, you can also hit the M key and you're going to find this mask right here that you just drew and you're going to go ahead and click subtract and it's going to do the opposite of what it was just doing there. You know, whatever you drew that mask around, you want to subtract it. Next, I'm going to come over here into this to the tracker panel and we're going to make sure your cursor is at the beginning of your timeline here. Come over to the tracker panel, make sure your mask is selected and hit this play button or this next frame button. And so it's going to go through and track your shot and attempt to follow whatever you selected with the mask that you drew. So we're gonna speed this up here to the end. And now we're done. Now that you have your mask tracked all the way through, you can see it changes a little bit. We're gonna come over to the content aware fill panel. And so if you don't see that, go to your window and find content aware fill. And that's that this new feature. So depending on how well your mask covered that, that object, um, you might choose to expand it a little bit. You can see that that makes the mask bigger. I'm gonna give it a few extra pixels just in case, but it did a pretty good job of covering up the buffalo the whole way through. So you're gonna do fill, fill method object, the range is work area, and then you just hit generate fill layer. And so you can see it analyzing over here. It's gonna analyze this and create this new fill layer here made of PNGs, and that's gonna be that's gonna go over top of where the buffalo was, and After Effects is gonna to attempt to compute what it would have looked like based on all of the pixels around it. So you can see the first frame here is kind of a preview as it's going through. It's not really done yet, so at some point it'll it'll drop out there, but um, that's a pretty good version. At the end of this, it might be a little bit obvious what are the content aware generated pixels and what are not, but generally it does a pretty good job. So let's play this through and see what it looks like. I mean, you can definitely see where that area was, but if I hadn't told you that, just like I didn't in the beginning of this video, you probably wouldn't realize it at all. This is a three second clip and I think it did a very good job. So guys, that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this helped you out. You can use this for a ton of different applications. I mean, for editing out the shadow of your drone, to editing the logo off of a t-shirt. There's just, it's really a, a cool progression of After Effects. And if you don't have After Effects, I'd encourage you to download a trial today because it's a pretty powerful program. Guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.